Hello everyone. In this introduction to C-sharp video, we are going to take a look at interaction using keys. Before we get into it, remember to subscribe to see more and hit that notification bell to be notified whenever I upload. It really, really helps me out. Now, on with the show. So most of the time, you will find that in your game, you have some way of interacting with whatever is in the game, usually with the keyboard if you're on PC. So let's write some code which allows us to use our keyboard to send something to the game or do something in the game. So I have a, an empty C Sharp script here, just called interaction. And there are two major ways that you can actually use keys to do something via scripting. So the first one is using the key code method. And to do that, we would just need to type it inside an if statement. So we need to think of it as if we are pressing a key, then we can do something. That's how this whole sequence works. And to get round to it, we go if and in brackets and we deal with the input. So input dot get key. And in brackets, that's where we can now deal with a key code. Now, the good thing about this is once we type key code with a capital K and a capital C and then dot, we actually get that drop down list and we can select almost any key here. In fact, we can select any key. So if you want something to happen when you press the uh, X key, for example, it will be key code dot X. So to complete this whole routine, all you would do is treat it just like an if statement. So we're saying basically if we're pressing the X key then we do the following. So we could let's say have uh, a variable. So we could have an integer um, and it's just called my int. So if we press the X key we could say my int plus equals one. So every time we press the X key we'd be increasing the integer by one. Now that is the easiest and most simplest way of using key code to detect if you're pressing a key on the keyboard. Now there is another way and this one becomes a little more convoluted in some respects but can be a little bit more refined depending on how you have your whole game set up. It works on the same premise however the actual line itself is slightly different depending on your settings in Unity. So we can do the same if, and we still deal with input. So input dot get button. Now we can see here that there are a couple of different ones here. So we've got get button, get button down and get button up. So you can use either one of these three to detect if you've pressed the button, if the button is down, held down, or if the button is no longer held down. So it's being held up. So either way, you can use any of those. And in the parentheses this time, rather than typing, for example, keycode.x, let's have the escape button. Now, by default in Unity, the escape button is labeled as cancel. So in quotes, cancel. And then same again, you close it all off and then open the curly brackets and you can say my int plus equals two, for example. So I'm going to save that. So they are the two major ways that you can detect a key press in Unity in C Sharp. Now, I would usually recommend this one using the key code. However, this version where you name a key is also useful in many situations. So back into Unity, if you go to edit, and obviously there are different things here. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much depth with a lot of these things. Um, but if you go to Input Manager, you can go to Axes, and that is where you name your keys. So in this case, I've labeled it as Cancel, and we can see that the positive button is Escape. So theoretically, you could set up a new button here and call it um, maybe roll or something and have that as the X key, for example. So which means in your script now, you would type roll there rather than have keycode.x. 
So if you want to know any more about how all of this works, I guess the input manager, for example, because this is something that maybe does confuse a couple of people and how those buttons work. So if you want to know more, let me know in the comments. And if you've got any cool tips on any of this coding, please also leave a comment. And as I said earlier, don't forget to click subscribe and the bell. It really helps me out. And I hope to see you guys in another video. Thank you very much for watching.